Hey everybody, it's Jeff from New York, and today we are in Atlantic City, but not for long. I just left the Borgata. You see we have Harris on the left and Golden Nugget on the right. We're on Brigantine Boulevard getting ready to go over the Brigantine Bridge to check out Brigantine Beach. Once we get on the other side of this bridge, we'll be in Brigantine Beach, and it's hard to believe this sleepy little uh, seashore town here in New Jersey is actually in the shadows of the skyscraper hotel and casinos of Atlantic City. It's literally just a stone throws away. I just traded in my sneakers for a pair of sandals, and I'm going to drive and walk around Brigantine Beach for the day, so come on with me. Like many of the towns in the Jersey Shore series here on the New York Channel, the ocean is on one side and a bay is on the other one, usually the Barnegat Bay, but in this case it's the Absecon Bay. Brigantine Beach is loaded with quaint little restaurants and shops and we'll drive by most of them in uh, no particular order. I think I'm going to head towards the ocean first and we'll just check out things as they come along here. This is pretty much the uh, very first right we could make getting off the bridge. It's about a mile into Brigantine Beach already. Uh, we're going to make that right because obviously the ocean is on the right hand side. But first there's this strip mall and this is the largest shopping area you'll find here on Brigantine Beach. It's got a, a, a large Acme, a Walgreens, a Dollar Tree, there's a St. George's Pub, a Gucci Brothers Italian Pizzeria, the post office is here. This is pretty much the commercial area of Brigantine Beach. Uh, you're not going to find larger stores than uh, the ones that you're going to find here at this mall. Right now we're in that Acme and uh, this is probably the only game in town if you're renting a house or if you own a house here on Brigantine Beach uh, to stock up on groceries. It's pretty much the only supermarket around. And I'm driving just a couple more blocks east to get to the beach. Again, uh, Brigantine Beach is a sleepy seashore town. There's no boardwalks and uh, amusements and things like that. Um, so I'm going to have to park the car and walk towards the beach entrance, which is what I'm going to do right now. This is Frankie the Flip Flop. He follows me around all my Jersey Shore videos. Sometimes he's elusive, sometimes he's very easy to find. Spot him in this video, note the time you spotted him in the comments below, and you'll get a shout out on an upcoming video. Oh no, it looks like it's chained off. Now what am I gonna do? Uh, huh, that was easy. Now, I'm not sure, obviously, if you're watching this on a phone or on a computer or a large screen TV, but I am surrounded by thousands of birds. So, obviously, bird watching is a big thing around here. I don't know why they like this area, but it's like a Hitchcock movie around here. And the closer I get to the beach, as you continue to watch, the more birds you're going to find. But if you're on a small screen, it's going to look like little black specks in the sky. So that was quite a walk from the street to the beginning of the beach and now there's a whole nother walk, a long one, from the beginning of the beach to the ocean so keep that in mind. And off in the distance you can see the boardwalk resorts of Atlantic City, that first tall one being Ocean Resort. Also off in the distance, uh, I don't know if you can make it out or not, but there's a lot of four-wheel drive vehicles down at the end and uh, you need a permit to do it. It's $350 a year. You cannot get a permit for a day. You must get a permit for a year. Uh, and again, the requirement is that you have a four-wheel drive vehicle for that permit. Now that's the road to go down if you have your four-wheel drive vehicle and you're uh, looking to get to the beach access. And as you can see, people let air out of their tires to make it a little easier to drive on the sand. And as you're leaving the beach area, going back home, 
they have an air pump here that you can reinflate your tires on the way back. There's quite a mixture of housing here on Brigantine Beach. Uh, you got your standard ranches, you got your uh, two-story colonials, you got your multi-unit dwellings like these townhouses behind me. Of course, there's beautiful beachfront houses here as well. All different kinds of housing. The only thing they all have in common is they are all very expensive. Wow, he must be really good at fishing. So we're back on Brigantine Avenue, which I guess you can consider the main drag here at uh, Brigantine Beach. And once we get to a traffic circle up ahead, it turns into West Brigantine Avenue. Lots of uh, quaint little cafes and surf shops, lots of surf shops, some uh, beach shops and uh, liquor stores and convenience stores and things like that along this drag. And before I forget, a shout out to Pac-Man who found Mitzi the Rubber Ducky Showgirl in one of my latest Las Vegas videos, the uh, Walgreens Run video. He found Mitzi, uh, according to him, eating my Doritos. So good job, Pac-Man. Stay tuned because up ahead we're going to visit not only a yacht club but a beach club as well. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, please hit that subscribe button and smash that thumbs up. It really does help the channel out. This is St. Thomas Roman Catholic Church here on Brigantine Beach, and uh, I always find churches fascinating. If you check out my older New York City videos, I go into a lot of churches. I just love the architecture and the whole atmosphere. Uh, also my New Orleans video, there's uh, some church videos there as well. I didn't stop into St. Thomas's today because I'm on a pretty tight schedule here, but perhaps another time. On the bay side here, we have this beautiful marina with some boats and yachts. So we've seen the marina on the bay side. Now I want to head back east towards the ocean side, just a few blocks away. Uh, there's a beach bar there I want to check out. This is the Laguna Grill and Rum Bar right on the beach here in Brigantine Beach and they have live entertainment. You have to check out the scheduling but they do have live entertainment occasionally. Indoor and outdoor dining as well. And that's pretty much it for Brigantine Beach. Uh, like I said, it's a very sleepy Jersey Shore kind of town. The cool thing about it is it's very close to Atlantic City. That being said, if you're in Atlantic City for a few days and you're looking to get away to maybe a beach cafe or something like that, Brigantine Beach is the perfect answer. Or vice versa, if you're staying at Brigantine Beach, you rented a house or you own a house here at Brigantine Beach, Atlantic City is just moments away if you're looking for some fun and excitement and some casino gaming. What do you think of Brigantine Beach? Leave a comment below.
I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please like, comment, ask some questions, and most importantly, subscribe by clicking on the button on the left. You can visit all of my New York videos by clicking on the top right, or check out my videos on other favorite places to visit by clicking on the bottom right. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you around the city.